Imagine a future where living to 120 years old is so normal that dying before that feels shocking, just like how we feel about kids getting very sick today. Some people believe that once we have strong anti-aging medicines, letting people age normally could actually become unfair or even a human rights issue. Some futurists believe aging isn't just natural, they see it as a disease that can be stopped or slowed down. Others say we should think about people in the future too, because saving lives today means there will be more happy people tomorrow. Together, these ideas create something called zero death ethics, the belief that we should try to prevent death from aging as much as possible. Scientists are already working on this right now. One team even found a way to help animals live 50% longer by cleaning out bad fats in their cells. They also found similar signs in humans, meaning this may work for us too. When you combine that with new medicines, gene editing, and AI-designed drugs, living a healthy life to 120 doesn't sound so crazy. It could be normal for kids today. Here's a big question. If science can safely slow down or reverse aging, should everyone have the right to use it? We already make vaccines required for kids to stop diseases that can be prevented. Some people think stopping aging could be just as important and that not giving people those treatments might be unfair. Some experts are already working on new longevity rights laws that could make age reversing treatments something everyone has a right to. But others warn that we should think carefully about fairness, resources, and making sure everyone has equal access. If living to 120 becomes normal, our ideas about fairness and health will have to grow too. Stay curious, stay radiant. This is Neil Regis.